Hey guys, Takara here, welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd do a quick pregnancy update for you guys. I am so tired. I think right now I'm probably working off of three, maybe four hours sleep. So I know I look tired and I know this video may be a bit lacklustre in energy, but it's realistic. I am 35 weeks pregnant today. I have five weeks left to go until my due date. I did recently find out though that 37 weeks is classed as full term, so obviously the 40 weeks the baby is completely ready to come, but the baby could come either 37 or even 42, so it's just going to be a waiting game next couple of weeks to see when the baby wants to arrive and say hi to the world. The last update I did was I think 20 weeks, so from 20 to 35 I'm going to cover what I felt so far. I'd say the second trimester is the easiest trimester for me. The third trimester is, for me, it's been quite difficult and I think the beginning of it was easy-ish. I still had plenty of energy to do things but now it's becoming a bit of a struggle. Uh, I've had Braxton Hicks for the first time and it's a sh really strange sensation. Your entire stomach sort of tenses. The only way I can describe it is sort of have you ever been running and you have a stitch in your chest? It, ha it was kind of that feeling but all over my my stomach. Every now and again I'll get a quite sharp pain in my left side near sort of between my hip and my pelvis type of thing. They're not fun <laughs> at all. My Braxton Hicks kind of lasted a while as well. I think I had constant on and off contractiony type feelings for around an hour and I was getting a bit nervous at one stage and then I had like a nice warm bath it just sort of subsided so I was like thank god because it's definitely too early for baby to arrive yet at least it's it's given me a heads up about what's to come because that was quite painful so I'm absolutely dreading going into labour. I know some of you guys have had babies and some of you have probably not been thinking about that but for those that have had a baby I'm wondering if you can sort of relate to the feeling of you hear all of these stories prior to birth and labour and you sort of brace yourself for what's to come but you know that there's no escape in it. You know that it's going to happen and all you can think about is how do all of these women put themselves through this agony? and every person that I've spoken to has said the same thing that I've had a baby is that once the baby is here and in your arms you literally think that everything was worth it and you forget about that awful awful pain in that moment I've recently just watched Colleen Ballinger's birth video and that was that was amazing because she had a rough pregnancy, did not look fun whatsoever she got very depressed at, at the end stages as well she was in a lot of pain throughout it. She just, all the symptoms she seemed to have, which I feel for her really do. And when I see that, I think that I need to count my blessings because yes, I have had some tough times during this pregnancy, but overall it's been okay. It's been tolerable. But I definitely feel for those women that do struggle with the whole thing. Loss of breath is a, a common symptom and I've noticed when I'm recording, I can hear myself breathing, which is awful. It's a pet peeve of mine to begin with. I hate listening to heavy breathing and when I know it's coming from me, it's it, there's no change there. It still irritates me. Like I can hear myself do it and I'm like, please. But hopefully once the baby is moved down and ready to come out, it will ease off my uh, my lungs a little bit there and make it make it easier to breathe, which will be good. Another thing I've noticed is my lips are so dry and it's been like this for a lot of my pregnancy really, is dry lips. And I think it's more so because when I'm breathing, I have this breathlessness. It is drying my lips out a lot as well. So if you see, you'll probably have seen me chew my lips a lot, which is not a good thing. And I'm, I'm hoping that that will revert back to normal once the baby's out. Another thing is that I've just swelled so much, like my hands have swelled and my ankles and feet have swollen and that's why I don't wear my rings anymore. I've had to put my wedding ring, etc. on my necklace now because, yeah, <laughs> my fingers have turned into sausages now, so fun! Another fun thing of pregnancy, so good! And obviously my face has swollen a lot, I'm getting an L double chin that's always fun. Uh, getting really stiff, back pains, things like that. Headaches now and again, not all the time, thank god. Sensitivity in my teeth. I have a pregnancy pillow that I use most nights, pretty much every night. 
in the hopes to get comfortable. It doesn't work wonders, but it definitely eases a lot of pain. I would definitely advise investing in a pregnancy pillow if you haven't already. I was so sorry for keep yawning. I know they say that your body sort of is preparing you for pregnancy so you're not sleeping because you won't be sleeping when the baby is here. But I, I do think that when the baby is here, not sleeping is sort of expected and at least you have a little tiny baby to stare at and be happy about. Whereas right now is just discomfort. There's no instant reward of staring at a cute little baby's face. It's just, you don't get any sleep and then that's it. <laughs> and you still have to work. So yeah, fun. I'll be glad when um, I've taken some leave off work and obviously I'll still continue with this, but just having it off work will be, um, will be beneficial, I think. On this channel, I obviously, you only really see the top half of me, so you've not really seen what I look like prior to pregnancy either. But I wouldn't say I, I was a fitness fanatic or anything like that, but I was just quite fortunate that I would exercise and, and keep fit and active, but through just normal run-of-the-mill things, rather than going to the gym every day and working hard type of thing. But I was quite slim, and this pregnancy has obviously put a strain on my body quite a lot, and I have put on just under three stone I think in this pregnancy which has been quite difficult. I, I don't really hear many women talk about that side of things when they're pregnant. Seeing my body change and stretch and just not be my own, yeah, it's been a bit of a struggle to watch. I know that I'm just excited for a what's to come. But I do have that in the back of my head where I'm like, I, I've got my work cut out for me once the baby is here as well to get back to how I was. Yeah, I don't know. It's just a bit scary thinking about that, but fingers crossed I can can do it. I know it's easier for some than others as well so yeah I don't really know what to expect there but give you a quick bump update now. As you can see my bump's still quite quite high up I think. It's not it's not dropped too low just yet but I'm, I'm definitely I've definitely shot out a lot more than I was in in the first pregnancy video. 35 weeks today and this is what my bump looks like. So I've been a little concerned about obviously getting stretch marks and things like that and I thought I was going to be really lucky and have none because it was only last week I started getting them on my on my hips which is a bit disappointing but what can you do? Touch wood I don't have them on the front of my stomach just yet but I guess there's time for that. My belly button as well and truly popped out <laughs> and I thought I'd get the line down the stomach as well the center of the stomach but I haven't actually got that but I know that that's quite common in a lot of women and I've heard that my belly button will revert back to normal once the baby's out so I guess we'll see there as well. A little pop out belly button there. My sister always says that it reminds her of um, Roadhog from Overwatch so thanks that girl. <laughs> Cravings wise I still have the apples craving but other than that nothing really. So I was fortunate enough to get a private scan. I really wanted to take a peek at the baby, see what the baby looks like and make sure that everything was okay and I invited my family to come along with me as well to see and it was a really nice experience. We were well looked after. The main thing that they said was baby was very chubby and quite large, especially the head. So can't wait for that. Yeah I thought I'd just show you a quick picture. I just think oh, so cute and it made everything feel real. I can't help but look at this picture and just think of what's to come. It does look like the baby has my nose and my fella's lips so yeah I guess it might be a, a good mixture of the two of us. We shall wait and see. I have noticed that during my pregnancy I have given less shits about the way that I look. Um, I've just become really quite lazy on my appearance. Putting makeup on is a chore so I very rarely bother with a full face of makeup and my hair I just I can't be bothered to straighten it or curl it I just wash it and then just leave it and I guess that's just motherhood for you even though I've not even had the baby yet I feel like I'm prepping already. When I'm working on these videos and things and I'm editing them back I'm thinking wow you look rough <laughs> but at the same time, I am that far gone and I just don't have 
any energy to change it so I've had the odd troll comment on my appearance and you know I can look past them the majority of you guys have been really sweet about it and just understanding the fact that I am 35 weeks pregnant and losing the will a little bit to uh, make the effort my family again is just they really can't wait and I know that I'm extremely fortunate to have the support that I have. I did do a NCT course as well, my local NCT course. There, I think there were seven couples in total, including me, four of which have had their babies already. I'm the last one in the line. But yeah, everyone's doing well and it just gives me that sort of boost to get ready, get excited and prepare myself more than anything. I just cannot wait. I know I keep saying it, but I'm, I'm so excited. I just, I want the baby here. And I want to start my new journey, my new life. A lot of people have been asking what I plan to do with my channel. The answer is I'm going to continue as best I can. And once baby is here, I plan on just cracking on as normal, to be honest. It's going to be more difficult to do that with a, a little baby. But I'm going to try my very best and that's all I can do. I would like to do different videos and the reactions because it's not easy guys. These reactions, it's not an easy field to go down or route to go down should I say because especially with article 13 now approaching and doesn't sound good for us whatsoever. I've been hit with a lot more blocks now. WBTV are not happy with my channel, claiming pretty much every video still and now they're blocking some. I got season one's episodes got blocked last week. They were ages ago. I don't know what's triggering this company to just suddenly hit certain videos. I don't know what the process is or what their theory is for it. It just makes no sense to me whatsoever. There's not much that I can do other than what I'm doing on Patreon. Again, I just want to thank everyone that is on my Patreon account because without you guys, this channel would not be what it is. I wouldn't have uploaded in months, well, other than The Walking Dead, because so far The Walking Dead has been okay, but Supernatural, which is where the majority of my views come from, would be non-existent without you guys on the Patreon account, so thank you so much for all your help on there. I hope the people that are watching The Supernatural solely on YouTube and not on Patreon are grateful for you guys as well, because like I said, without you, there would be none of these videos at all, so yeah. When baby is here, I'll try and do, maybe do vlogs, I don't know, just try something a little different, maybe go down more the gaming route, things like that, but as it stands right now, these reactions videos like I, people say well, why don't you just try and react to other shows but I know that other shows get hit as well because I follow a lot of other creators of reactors and I hear all of the troubles online that they go through and I think that a lot of people that just watch the reactions don't really understand what goes on behind the scenes. It can get really disheartening and quite frustrating to be honest when you feel like you're solely playing by the rules of fair use, you are uploading 10 minutes or less, you are changing audio, you're doing extra cuts in scenes, you are changing changing the contrast or the opacity of videos, you're putting your fair use sign on there. Majority just reviewing and recapping what you've seen in the episode rather than reacting to it. You're doing everything you possibly can to make the video entertaining, educational and yet you get hit and then it's like I've just done all that work and for what? A few people got to watch it, a lot of people don't. We'll see how this channel sort of grows, hopefully it will grow, and you guys will like it. Again, we'll just have to wait and see, and sort of play it by ear. I'm gonna do my very best to crack on with things. Hopefully these knocks will subside, because they're getting so tiresome now. I'm over it, I really am. I'm sorry, because I'm sure this video has not been the, <laughs> the most fun to watch, but I, I hope that you enjoyed it, even a little bit. If you did, be sure to give it a cheeky thumbs up and subscribe, you know, if you want to. But again, there's no pressure here. You do you. And I shall see you all again soon for another video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.